Hi, welcome back. Please join me with uh, a cup of tea or your favorite hot drink because uh, this is a fairly long video. So what is this video all about? It's uh, mostly about a, a theme that I've had in mind for the longest time. It's um, the simple pleasures in life. For me, it's important to have downtime during the day. And uh, it's mostly with um, a cup of tea or, yeah, a good book or both. <laughs> I want to make paintings that will spark some feel-good, the, the simplicity of the moment. And so, yes, I've been thinking about doing a series about tea. So I stocked up with um, of buying a lot of vases and a lot of props for indoor scenes, not only about tea, but a lot of um, scenes, interior scenes. And I don't know really how to call them. I don't want to call still life. Uh, to me, it's, uh, it's moments captured during the day, or uh, it's just about relaxation. It's about, I really don't know how to call these. I don't. So when I started the videos back in, I think it's in the end of September, beginning of October, with my sketchbook series, I'm showing some of the sketches that I've done. One of them is uh, a tablecloth that my mother-in-law uh, had and uh, there's uh, our little cat uh, lurking uh, in the back like uh, you're not too sure if he's gonna jump on it and all that but to me that is so much fun to to see our cat there and uh, but I, I wanted to continue and elaborate on what it is that I want to do with these but you know the holidays and a lot of things projects and all that started to come in and didn't have time to focus on those uh, those things. So last week I started working on this beautiful teapot that uh, I rarely use. I occasionally use it and uh, it's just a beautiful tea. I have a lot of uh, tea sets uh, because I love tea and uh, I think a beautiful teapot with the teacups and uh, cake plates, it's so... Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, Robert and I, we love to go for a uh, high tea and um, we haven't gone since uh, COVID, but uh, it's about time we start doing that again, uh, at least once a year. It's just like a big luxury moment to have, um, you know, to serve tea in a nice teacup. It is a luxury and uh, a moment to savor. So on January the 20th, I started the painting of this in the sketchbook and uh, the following day, the 21st, I finished it. And so here we are with this video and uh, I hope you will enjoy. Now the products that I use in this uh, sketch is, uh, it's really... Uh, it's only it's only uh, Liquitex uh, acrylic gouache. Liquitex uh, seems to be working well for me, and uh, the smell is really not that uh, that strong. I'm very happy with that, and um, so I also use like for the paintings, the actual painting. I will be using uh, Liquitex soft body acrylic, and it comes in several formats but here uh, in Ottawa uh, so far all I could find is the 59 milli milliliter and those are two ounces or the 237 milliliter or eight ounces uh, so it's from this to this and um, because I, I tell you once you start painting you go through these fast I'm on a roll with uh, the, uh, the Liquitex um, acrylics. So here's to you. That is good. 
actually the tea that I'm drinking is um, is rooibos, uh, a red tea, and uh, it's delicious, caffeine free. Also, the sketchbooks that I use, I don't know if I told you, but um, in my uh, other videos, but it's by Talons, and it's this. I don't know if you can see it. Talons Art Creation, 80 sheets. It's 21 by 29.7 centimeters or 8.3 by 11 inches, 11.7 inches, 140 gm or 94 pounds, acid free. It's beautiful. It really is. Uh, I love to work with this. So that's the sketchbook that I work with. So, enough talking, and uh, let's go to the video. I don't know if you remember this one. Uh, I showed it in one of the videos, uh, sketchbook videos that I did uh, a few months ago, I think. And uh, so, I'm just showing uh, what I am considering doing with these here. So, I bought props for... Um, these type of paintings that I want to do. And uh, so I'll show you a few that I did as practice. So uh, this this one here. I really enjoyed uh, doing these vases. Like I bought a lot of vases. And uh, just for, um, uh, because I want to create a lot of fun scenes. And uh, so these will all be part of the props that I, that I got. So these two here, that was a big challenge for me because it's glass. This one is opaque, but um, it was fun to add uh, the reflection of the light on it. And this one here, that was uh, interesting to do. And this is all done with uh, acrylic gouache. I learned quite a bit with that. Also these two. I really love designing on the vases, so to me that was really fun. I didn't think I would like doing this one, but you know what? It turned out to be one of the most fun vases that I did. So um, I'm showing you these because right now I'm working on this. And this is the start of a, of a painting. I'm just experimenting with colors. The, the orange I mixed, um, I mixed uh, cadmium free orange with uh, cadmium free red light. It gave me that kind of orange but there's other colors that will go on top of the uh, orange flowers but I, I wanted to show uh, how I am thinking right now. These are uh, the teapot and the teacup and um, I will, um, the tablecloth is, um, I'll show you the design. So this gives you an idea of uh, what the composition will be like. And uh, I think it will be a fun painting to do. In my sketchbook uh, series, I showed you some props and uh, I've acquired a lot more, a lot more since. And um, I have all kinds of... Um, tablecloths with designs, patterns, texture, um, and that's where my, my head is right now. I want to do a series about the little pleasures in life and uh, how important it is and uh, the joy that it brings in our lives uh, when we uh, just sit down and relax and um, read a book or uh, uh, think or just simply simple silence and uh, so I want to do that but before I start working on that project um, I have a commission piece and uh, I'm calling it uh, Birch and Cedar and uh, so I will be working on that but I wanted to do this video with this uh, teapot and uh, teacup and um, just to show you what it is that I am planning to do in the future. It's part of what I want to do. My objective is to, I want to do them on a large scale 
and I think it will be a, a really wonderful series. So I am in a kind of in a, a mode, if you want, of uh, I need color in my life. So, so last year I started buying props. Things that are fun, a little bit whimsical. Some of them are whimsical, some of them are, are not. Though. But uh, colorful, odd shapes, designs. I stock up on a few things. I buy it at the thrift store and I go on the um, Tuesday when the seniors have a 30% off. So it's 30% of something that's really not expensive. So I got quite a few things that are really fun and I think you will enjoy what I am trying to do. I just wanted to do kind of a, a sketch of this uh, tea set and uh, I just wanted to do this and feel good about it because right now it's on paper, it's in my sketchbook and I will continue to work on it. The reason I'm do I did this video with uh, while you watch me sketching is because I had to get this one out of my system. I really did. I mean, I've been looking at it since uh, uh, right after Christmas and uh, there's always something. And today I decided, well, I'm doing it because uh, tomorrow I want to do the start working on the uh, commission piece. And uh, But before I do, I really wanted to give myself this uh, this pleasure like I mean it's on my mind it's constantly on my mind and um, it's practice and it's heading towards what I want to do and uh, the only way I, I'll know if I can do that series is by doing it so now that I've done this one plus the other one with um, Punto um, and the old uh, tablecloth from my mother-in-law I now have a, a good idea of what it is that I'm trying to, to do. There's a lot of things that changes in you, and I see that change in me. Um, I think that by opening up to other mediums, um, my brain opened up to other things. And... Uh, I love my oils, I, I love my nature scenes, my birds, but I also quite enjoy working with the, these water mediums and I want to explore it as much as I can. So to me, that's exciting. It's a whole new world of possibilities. And I find that each medium has its own uh, um, qualities and and they bring something that another one doesn't and sometimes you can intermix and and you come up with something that that you really didn't expect
Okay, so uh, it's not it's not finished because I want to do the the roses here, but I want to let it dry before I go back with the <clears throat> the brighter yellow. Um, so what have I done really? It, this is a study for me, and I'm just trying to figure patterns. <clears throat> and I do see mistakes that I made, but I think that when you paint, you are you go into a, a zone if you want. And uh, I was just letting it uh, let it let it flow. Uh, what uh, what did I do with some colors? I mixed um, to start with the yellow. I used uh, cadmium uh, yellow light, cadmium free yellow light along with cadmium free yellow medium so I mixed these two and I got this kind of a and I added a, a little bit of yellow oxide to darken uh, the color I added even more uh, yellow oxide but for the darker I believe I took um, cadmium free yellow deep with the yellow medium and I added yellow oxide and it gave me this this darker really I would say it's close to yellow oxide and so I did the darker where the um, uh, the pattern meet uh, it's darker what else well whatever I used in the tablecloth I used in the flowers and vice versa and again with the flowers here so it kind of goes well together so uh, I still need to finalize the, the details and add some gold. And uh, like I say, I need to finish the, uh, the roses. And uh, so I'm going to let it dry. And I also have to darken these here. They're, they're darker than that. But um, I will let it dry for a little while. And uh, then I'll finish the painting. But um, this is a good study. Um, I didn't think that I would like turquoise, but it's not too bad, actually. And probably when I do the, the actual painting, I think I will remain in those colors, uh, that color scheme, because it seems to be work, working for me, and uh, I quite enjoy that. Mm. So... That's uh, that's the start, and now I'll be able to focus on uh, the commission piece. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I would like to show you. I continued working on my sketch, and uh, I'd like to show you the uh, the final um, the final image. So here it is. I'm very pleased with this. Now. This serves as a template for a painting that I want to do. There are things that I will correct on this thing, but I mean, it's, uh, it's, I love it. I really do. And um, so it'll be fun to, uh, to be, uh, start working on this series. And I hope you will accompany me while I do the, create this series because uh, I think you might enjoy it too. Before I start working on the this project, this series, um, I will um, uh, work on a commission piece, uh, like I mentioned earlier, called uh, Birch and Cedar. And uh, I think it will be uh, a little, um, maybe uh, more than a little challenge but uh, I think it will be a lot of fun also and I probably will grow as an artist which is what I'm always aiming for along with uh, enjoying the whole process. Uh, last week I received a short video of uh, the parents opening up their Christmas gift uh, regarding squirrel. I am ending this video on uh, sharing that moment. It is uh, wonderful to see the reaction of the recipient of uh, Squirrel and uh, because it, it, it 
covers the entire basis from the start to the end and uh, I, I am pleased to show you that uh, little uh, segment. That's it for this time and uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I will see you in two weeks. Until then, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Should I open this? Yeah, it's just you open the presents first. Okay. Then I got this. Oh, this is nice. I love this. Oh, my God. I love it. It's so lovely. Thank you. It's so nice. Thank you, guys. I absolutely love it. So. I love that photo. Go grab a heel. You want a hug?